Hey everybody, happy hump day. Joe Kitchen, I'm Renee. I'm Mark. Hashtag Team Terry. Oh my gosh, you guys, jet lag is real. So we are trying to get some energy going here. Yeah. Um, it, we are, had so much fun this weekend in Dallas, but for us old people, it was a little draining. Long days. <laughs> it was a lot of fun though. So as you guys are coming on, please say hello. Let us know where you are watching from. If you are catching the replay, draw up hashtag replay so we can reach out and connect with you. And if you're new, welcome to Team Terry's Keto Kitchen. Um, we are praying that the internet or the cell service holds. We We're are without it power again. Yes. Welcome to California. The thing running. So this is becoming a theme with us. We are doing yeah. live videos by generator. So if you guys could share this out, we would really, really appreciate, appreciate it, it because yeah. we can't get to the other uh, devices to do it on Wi-Fi. So if you can share it, sharing is caring. Um, and I think that is it for me. I'm like, you guys, I love Outback's Alice Springs chicken. And that's what we're making. That's what we're making. So it's I'm the keto version of Alice Springs mm. chicken. So. Um, we're going to start with a pound and a half of uh, chicken breasts. These are sliced thin, um, so it's it's about two of the Costco breasts split, split in half. Uh, so you've got four nice fillets. I'm going to take and put uh, salt and pepper on these, which I don't normally do, but for this recipe I will yes. uh, because that's what it calls for. And it's this is a. This recipe has very distinct flavors, so it's um, <clears throat> it needs to have all the ingredients on it. Mark still doesn't have his voice back. He's <laughs> in uh, in a bowl, and we're going to put add uh, <clears throat> some uh, honey mustard uh, sauce on the uh, honey mustard I made myself. Um, we'll do a live on that one day. It's very easy to do. It's just mayonnaise, mustard, well, I could probably, Dijon mustard, and um, I could post. I think it. that was it. Yeah, I could post that. Yeah. I will. I'll post the um, honey Dijon recipe for you guys too. Yeah, um, I made up, of course, as usual, a double batch, mm -hmm. and I and I um, <clears throat> I took some to work today and used and had it. Has not made She's this kind of I'm really excited <laughs> to do this <laughs> kind of <laughs> so I'm gonna put these into a bowl and then we're gonna pour some of the uh, um, sauce the honey mustard sauce on it you can also use ranch if you want to um, but this is really a good oh, you guys good sauce it tastes so good it really does and I'll, I will I'll post the recipe for it we won't show you how to make it because we don't want to keep you guys on here too long but I'll post the recipe whenever I post the recipe for the chicken, too. Thank you guys for saying hello as you guys are coming on. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Chuck. Okay, so now I'm just going to take the chicken and uh, just roll it around in there so it gets well coated. Um, and then we're going to put it in our pan. And we're going to uh, add some, mm -hmm. some mushrooms and some uh, cheddar cheese and some bacon. And then we're going to throw this in the oven. Hey, Lori. 375 for 25 to 30 minutes. And then uh, turn the, the oven up to broil and cook it on broil for another five minutes just to um, crisp the bacon up. And then we'd be ready for dinner. Hi, so. Pat. Hi, Cindy. Thank you guys for saying hello. Also, we're going to be on here on Sunday and do some... Um, our, our, our keto kitchen drop some ideas of things that you guys would like in the comments as far as um holiday foods um i don't know what halloween coming up i'm thinking like maybe some hello, say hello, hello let, let us know you're here also you're going to want to follow us for all things keto we do two keto kitchens for you guys a week and we're also here to coach you um on your keto journey Journey is so much funner whenever you do it with other people. You get other people. So yeah. make sure you send us a friend request or follow us. To follow us, just touch on Mark's nose. <laughs> select the three dots up at the top, up here in the corner, and scroll down. You can select follow, and you can also um, hit to be notified when we go live. So make sure you guys send us the friend request. Can you send me the link? Yes, I can, Candy. I sure will. Hi, Danielle from Jacksonville, Florida. 
So we've also, we're, uh, what I'm doing now is putting, I've got a, uh, um, a cup of sliced white um, mushrooms <laughs> and I'm just putting a quarter cup of mushrooms on top of these fillets and then we're going to uh, add to that um, <clears throat> about three tablespoons of the, uh, the uh, bacon over the chicken. It says to use thin sliced, you guys. We just have our Costco thick sliced. Any, yeah, we just got thick mm -hmm. sliced bacon, so oh darn. Use what you have. Yeah, you got to use what you got, so. The first couple days are pretty difficult. Okay, I see our internet connection going in and out, you guys. I know it's recording. Um, sorry if hopefully, we have. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, it's not cutting out too bad. We're we're. Yes, that's one thing. Like I said, you can have a generator to cook your dinner and charge your stuff, but you just don't have Wi-Fi. Yeah. And living out in the country, you need Wi-Fi definitely. Hi, Linda. Thank you for jumping on. Okay. Oh my gosh, this looks delicious. So I've got these all. There's bacon wrapped on there. There's we've got the cheddar cheese. We've got the the uh, mushrooms on top of the chicken. We're gonna throw this in the oven at 375 for 25 to 30 minutes, and then we'll turn turn up the temperature to broil and uh, broil it for another five minutes just to get the bacon crispy. So yes, and you guys, if you are not in our secret recipe group, drop secret in the comments, and we will get you into our secret recipe group. Because they have a ton of recipes like this to where people have adapted like uh, foods that they love it keep made them keto friendly and this rant or this Dijon dressing is one of them so make sure you drop secret honey in mustard. the honey mustard yes honey oh that's why it tastes so good honey I'm telling mustard. you guys yes. yes um there was even a recipe it was a oh, suggestion in the recipe um that you could um put it in uh ice cube trays and you've got little pods of uh um, That's a great idea. That'll, that, and it said it would last up to a year. So pull it out of the freezer. Pull and it out of the freezer. Let it melt on your salad at work or, or on your pork. chicken or whatever. Yes, yeah. pork. So make sure you guys drop secret in the comments whenever. Um, if you guys want to get in that secret mm -hmm. recipe group, also if you you want to make sure that you follow us for all things keto. Yeah, so if you want to see pumpkins or something. Yeah. If you guys want to see that, drop <clears> spooky <throat> in the comments. Um, and I think that's it. Do you guys got value from this? Oh, you're going to say YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Get the link yes. to where you can go right over. Um, so now I'll go. If you guys got value from this, make sure you give it a quick <laughs> like. Hit that follow button so you can see more of our keto kitchens and share, share it out. out. We yeah. love and appreciate all of you guys. Thanks for spending some time with us. Mm -hmm. See you on Sunday. <laughs> Bye.